Hey guys, today I'm showing you how I made my own version of the Marc Jacobs Superstar bib. It's just a star crop top kind of deal. Um, it's super quick, it doesn't use much yarn, and it's a great little summer top for you guys to try out. Warning though, it doesn't really work that well on big boob. If you guys figure out some way to make it work on our larger trusted friends, let me know, and let's get into the tutorial. It's pretty simple and really easy. Um, we're only going to do half double crochet stitches, and that's pretty much it. What you'll need is just some wheat four yarn. I'm using a four millimeter hook. And let's get started. So we're going to start with a slip knot. Put it on your hook. And chain five. Then you're going to insert your hook into that first loop and make a slip stitch and chain two. So you've made a circle here. You could do a magic circle, but if I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't know how to do that. So we're gonna yarn over and we're gonna put 11 stitches into that circle. Now we have our 11 stitches and it's starting to make a circle form. So now what you're going to do is without yarning over, you're gonna insert your hook right here. Make sure that you're not going into like this big hole. You're going underneath the kind of like V shape that you've got going on. And then we're going to just slip stitch, pull tight, great. And then chain two. Now we're going to keep going around and around the circles. Think of this, we're just making a big circle at first. So if you already know how to do a circle like this, you can skip ahead. I'll put the timestamp that will walk you through how to do the circle. So we're going to yarn over and we're going to put two half double crochets in every single stitch. Since we already have this chain here, that counts as a stitch, so you don't need to put two in that first one. And now again, like we did with the first circle, we are going to insert our hook at the end and slip stitch. So if you're new with circles, each time you go around, you're gonna increase by the same number. And I think you increase by 12 each time. Um, but every time you make a bigger circle, your increases aren't gonna be next to each other. So for this one, we're going to have an increase, no increase, increase, no increase, increase, no increase, like that. And then the third row, you're going to have increase, 
two without increase. Increase, two without increase. The way I keep it straight in my head, so we're chaining two. So this one's an increase. So I count that as A, B, and C. A, B, and C. That's just a trick for what I do. So I think every time I say A, B to myself, I'm making an increase. Alright, so we got to the end, and we're just inserting chain 2. So for this one, we're doing an increase and then 2 with it. So I do A, which is the uh, chain, B, and then C, D. And now back to the A, B, which is the increase. Alright, so I'm going to go all the way around and meet you at the end. Okay, so I got to the end of my row. And now for this one, we're doing increase, none, 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 increase, none, none, none. So for me, that's A, increase on the B, C, D, E. A, B, C, D, E. So in total, I want to have eight rows before we start changing it up and doing the points on the star. So right now we've got one, two, three, four, and this is going to be row five. I'll put up a little graphic showing you what you need to do for each row but you'll get the hang of it. So I've finished my circle and I've got my eight rows done. And now what you're going to do, if you need a bigger top, this fits probably like a small medium. It's best on people with probably like a smaller chest, uh, large, breast girls beware it is not supportive it's just not I'm sorry I wish that it was I wish that it even on me it's pushing it um but yeah if you do need like more surface area covered then just keep making your rows but once you're done your circle what you're going to do is count how many uh stitches you have or if you've done the same as me you should have 95 and so from there, so however many stitches you have, you're going to divide that by 5. So 95 divided by 5 is 19, and that is how big each point is going to be on your star. So what I mean by that is 
Each point on the start is going to start with 19 stitches wide with no increases or decreases or anything. Just do 19. So now we've got our 19 stitches, instead of going around the rest of the circle, what you're going to do is chain two and flip your work. Now to make the star point, we're going to decrease one from each end on every other row until we get to the end and there's only three stitches at the end. So like this. I'll do the first couple of rows with you. So we yarn over, insert, pull one through, yarn over, insert, pull one through, and pull all the way through, and that's one increase, and you're going to go across the row, just with regular half double crochet stitches. All right, so now we got to the last two stitches and we are going to decrease by joining them together. All right, flip your work. And now since we are only going to decrease on every other row, this is just a regular row. Alright, so now we have another decrease, and you're just going to repeat this over and over until you only have three stitches left at the end. So one decrease row, one regular row, one decrease row, one regular. And these are pretty quick to do because there's not that many stitches for each point. Alright, so I'll meet you when I get to the end of the point. Alright, so I've gotten to the end of my first point, And I've just chained one, grabbing my scissors. And I'm going to snip it and tie it off. I've tried it before where I slip stitch down the side to get to the next point on the star. So I just like go all the way down and to the side. And I'm going to be honest, it didn't fit as nicely as I would have liked. It just kind of like made it tight and not as stretchy on one side as it is the other. So see, it's a little bit tighter here than it is on this side. I don't know if I'm really showing it well in this video, but I found that the slip stitch does make it tighter. 
So I found just like cutting it off and reattaching works better for me. If you don't like that look or would just rather a cleaner edge, you can definitely keep going through and uh, slip stitch down the side. I've just found that this has worked best for me. But if you're doing my method, then what you're going to do is you're going to make a slip knot. And then you're going to find not the stitch that you've started this point out of, but the very next one, you're going to insert your hook. Try not to skip any stitches here because it'll throw off your count. So I'm going to make a slip stitch and I'm going to chain two. And then I'm going to put a stitch in the exact same spot. So that's my first stitch and 18 more for a total of 19. But yeah, now you know what to do for each point on the star. So just repeat what you did for this star four more times for a total of five points all around your uh, one circle. And I'll meet you when we get there. So here's the final star. It's so cute. I feel like each of these look like petals. And you may be seeing now why it is not for big boobs. It does not, not working for um, bigger chest unless you make the circle a lot bigger. Right, if you have like more of that coverage here, then your star points will be bigger. But yeah, I've just found not the best for bigger chests. So now we're gonna add the straps. For the first strap around your neck, I am going to make a chain of 100. So I've just made a chain of 100 and that's long enough to go around my neck and tie. You can make your chains longer if you need it longer. But yeah, super simple. I snip it off, tie it, and you see how you've got these three loops here? I am going to stick one end in here and the other end in between those two loops. And that will be your necktie. It doesn't need to be that long because it's literally touching like the top of your neck. It's basically a choker. And then for each side, I'm going to make a chain of 100 again. But I'm going to attach it. It's not going to loop through. So inserting my hook into that center stitch. Making a slip stitch. And chaining 100. All right, so I've got all my straps attached and I'll show you what it looks like on. Thanks so much for watching guys and make sure to check out my Instagram and TikTok and make sure to let me know if you guys try this. All right, thanks, bye.